Hello, you're watching New Vision TV News with me, Ruth Inasaji. This is the latest. This hour, President Yoram Seveni has officially launched the Simi Mobile, Uganda's first ICT phone and laptop assembling factory. Jo Kwingi Zhuing, CEO of Simi Mobile Uganda, a company that employs close to 100 Ugandans in Namanvim Kono district, has said it is an achievement for Uganda, whose ICT infrastructure Structure and Ugandan made products are now on the rise. On July 4th, 2019, the National Information Technology Authority Uganda NITA, with the support of Uganda Investment Authority, entered a memorandum of understanding with SIMI Technologies to promote local technologies manufacturing in Uganda. The MOU is an extension of the Buy Uganda Build Uganda policy that looks to build local capacity as a way of promoting local industry and the manufacture of high-tech goods within the country. Let's move on to more stories outside Uganda in Israel. Israelis Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday became the country's first prime minister to be indicted in office on corruption charges, but def defiantly condemned the coup against him and vowed to hold on to power. The shock announcement compounded the political chaos gripping Israel, which has been without a government for months and faces the prospect of its third election in a year. After months of suspension, Israel's longest serving premier was charged by the Attorney General Aviyai Mandela Bilit with bribery, fraud, and bleach of trust. Away from Israel, hundreds of Algerians took to the streets of the capital Thursday to protest against next month's presidential election, despite a crackdown during which dozens were arrested. Around 300 protesters chanted, we will have freedom and we will not retreat, and banged on ports as motorists showed their support by sounding their horns. AFP journalists said police broke up the Algiers protest and some 30 people were detained, the journalists added. The demonstration came hours after an examining magistrate charged 29 people arresting du arrested during a similar protest on Wednesday night with holding an authorized gathering, lawyer Zakaria Balacharese said. Closing off this segment is a story from Ethiopia, where Ethiopia's ruling ethnic best coalition has marched into a single party, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said, but a key faction boycotted the vote. Three out of four members of the Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front agreed on Thursday to form a single party ahead of general elections in May. The new party is called the Prosperity Party. However, the Tigrayans People's Liberation Front, the once dominant party of the late strongman Malays, Zenawi refused to take part in the vote. The vote to, to unify passed without objection from the three other parties. And that is all I had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch my news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website, which is newvision.co.ug forward slash video.